All right, this is Graham Irwin, Irwin Enterprises. Uh, today we're gonna parkerize some trail cam boxes. You can see two different types of uh, trail cams in there. You got a Bushnell and a Moultrie. Uh, both good trail cams. Try to make a box that would fit both and uh, keep the bears off them. It's called the uh, M Craft Series One or Multiple Claw Resistant Animal Protected Trail Cam Box. Uh, this is the first prototype. It's been uh, TIG welded and sandblasted. See the trail cam fits inside of there. This goes on here and then drill a hole and put a lock through the bottom. There's some uh, TIG welds that I did at uh, Wisconsin Indian Head Technical College. These are the first, first try at TIG welding. These are a little bit better. This is uh, not the best quality steel, not a lot of manganese. Uh, you get a lot of porosity. But this one's going to get blasted and uh, parkerized later. And then uh, eventually we are going to duracoat these and uh, do a pattern with uh, OD green and uh, woodland tan. Uh, duracoat firearm finishes are, in my opinion, the best in the world. Uh, I think nothing, nothing fancy would agree. We got them from uh, Steve Lauer, Lauer Custom Weaponry, out of uh, Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin. And we got the uh, zinc parkerizing solution at the same place. I'm wearing a mask and I'm going to be wearing gloves because this is uh, acid. Also zinc is what they use in uh, galvanizing so you don't want to breathe it, it'll make you sick. Uh, Lauer Custom Weaponry, Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, and you can go to www.lauerweaponry.com. So that's one part of that to four parts of water. Uh, ideally you'd have a five gallon bucket. So we're going to mix this up and uh, it needs to be heated. And so we have a turkey cooker, propane turkey cooker. This is old uh, epoxy resin can, cut the top off. We're gonna use that because uh, we're using our turkey cooker for making maple syrup and I don't want zinc in the maple syrup. I don't think anybody else does either. So then we're gonna put some uh, steel wool in there and get the uh, parkerizing solution all kicked up and ready to go. And then we'll try this. Uh, this is just a piece of scrap that I got out of the scrapper. It's a V-block. We're gonna try and parkerize that, see what happens, get the time right. And we'll do a trail cam box. Gotta get the little poison guide around there. <laughs> All right, one part of that. Four parts water. Put that on the little fire here. We are in a well ventilated area. We got cross flow going across. We're in respirators. We're in a cow barn. If you're wondering why there's a giant trough in the cement back there, that's because this is a cow barn and that's a manure trough. And they used to uh, have a big conveyor belt that would take the manure outside. Let's see if we can get this off of here. Northwest Wisconsin, a lot of dairy. That's uh, a lot of stainless. I'll show you the stainless welds later. They're awesome. Uh, you can see the conveyor belt that would take the uh, cow manure out. And let's see if we can get back there. Those are uh, locks for holding the heads of the cattle. So. That's our workshop right now. Yeah, it smells like mold. We're getting a new workshop. We'll make a video of that later. So it's been 30 minutes. We got the steel wool in there. It's been cooking and getting the uh, acid all ready to go. It's turned kind of a green. All right, here we go. I'm just gonna drop it. <laughs> 
what the gloves are for. I need tongs. All right, back in a few minutes. If any of you are wondering why there's that uh, galvanizing, galvanized uh, sheet metal around the side there, it's because we cook maple syrup outside. I'll make a video on that later. And this, five gallon turkey cooker. This would be ideal for parkerizing, but we use it for maple syrup and I don't want that stuff in there. So this just goes inside of there. Uh, and if you want to start out cooking maple syrup, that would be just fine. It makes a hot spot down on the middle and burns it though. So we went to an evaporator, which is different. But this shields it from the wind, keeps it from blowing out. So now we're going to start the timer over. And we'll do five. All right, just got her out of there after five minutes. It is gray, still see some rust. It might be almost too much light. I'm gonna try switching a setting on the camera so we can get less, less of that glare. All right, we got the bell, five minutes. I actually uh, dropped this thing and it's a good thing it didn't hit the acid because it would have splashed. Definitely wanna have uh, safety glasses on Protective gloves, mask. All right, so that would be 10 minutes. Uh, this thing is going a little bit too hot. I tried to turn it down, it flashed off, off. the flame went out. Um, it is more gray, starting to get a white coating. I tried turning a setting down on the camera so it's not so, not so much glare. Maybe we could ditch this light, is that better? Lead paint. Don't eat that. Yeah. There's 190. So it's a little bit too warm, but I think it'll just make it go faster. It's Darker. Okay. Yeah, it's still getting some glare. Got like a white film on there. I think we're ready to throw a trail cam box in. This one is not blasted. It's kind of a, a darker color. This one is blasted. Uh, I'm not sure of the media. It's not soda. It's, uh, it's just sand, I guess. So when that comes out, that should be a lot darker. parkerizing before and wondering what it is. Uh, old guns were parkerized after they were case hardened. Um, may do a video of that. I want to build a heat treating furnace. but uh, Basically the parkerizing accepts the Duracoat finish a lot better. Uh, it gives it something to stick to and helps it bond with the base metal. Alright. Time's up. 15 minutes. going to see how we did. Before we pull it out, I just want to document the temperature. There's a little hold button on the right, that's pretty handy. 991.3, it was a little bit too hot, but I couldn't get any colder, so that's what we got. Uh, if anybody knows how to get the uh, parkerizing off of this nice food grade thermometer, let me know. Might be baking soda, who knows. Let's pull this thing out. Is now gray. It was a real light gray, almost a white. Now it's this light is just getting too much glare. Uh, it still kind of looks light in the video. Looks a lot darker here in person. All right. Water. Oh yeah. Thank you. Water for 60 seconds, cold water. Right. Should have an apron and actual tongs. Uh, Lauer does sell an apron. 
water. That's a nice finish. It's got metal gray into the water. Yes. Fleck darn. German fleck darn. And uh, some other patterns that don't matter that much. Alright. Oh, I just dropped it. And the flame's out. Go ahead and shut her off. <laughs>